In this video, we are troubleshooting network connectivity problems. We've been told in this scenario that router one, which is a viral router running in GNS3, is not able to ping the loopback of viral router two with a loopback of quadruple four. And that's true. Show IP route shows us that we only have a connected and local network in the routing table. Show IP protocols shows us that we are running the OSPF routing protocol and it's enabled on all interfaces on the router. Show IP OSPF neighbor shows us that we have a full relationship with a neighboring router with IP address 10121, which is this router one router. So on router one, show IP OSPF neighbor. We only have a neighbor relationship to 10.1.1.1, the route on the left. That's on interface fast ethernet 00. Show IP protocols. OSPF is enabled on this router and is enabled on all interfaces. Show IP OSPF interface brief. We have OSPF enabled on the serial interface and the fast ethernet interface. Can you see the problem? Notice the state of the serial interface is down. So show IP interface brief. We can see that the serial interface is up down. Something's wrong with the serial interface. Show run interface serial two slash zero shows us that an IP address is configured on the serial interface but the interface is no shut. In other words, it's administratively up. Nothing else is shown. So show interface serial two slash zero. We can see that the interface is up down. We can see the encapsulation. Keep alive is set to 10 seconds. Let's have a look at router two. Show IP OSPF interface brief. We can see once again that OSPF is enabled on the serial interface but the neighbor relationship is down. Show IP interface brief. Interface is up down. So this interface has not been administratively shut down. Show interface serial two slash zero. Can you see the problem? What's wrong in this output? Notice here, encapsulation, HDLC, on this side, encapsulation PPP. Show run interface serial two slash zero. We can see that this side is being set to use PPP encapsulation. So we need to either set it to use HDLC, which is the default on Cisco serial interfaces, or we need to set the encapsulation to PPP on both sides. So I'll set the encapsulation to HDLC. Show IP interface brief. Interface is up down, but notice it's just come up. And notice the OSPF relationship has gone to full. So on router one, show IP OSPF neighbor. Notice we now have two neighbor relationships, one to router two across the serial interface and one to this iOS V router on the left using the fast ethernet interface. So that looks a lot better. Let's have a look at the routing table of router one, which is a viral iOS V router. We now see the loopback quadruple four in the routing table. So can we ping that loopback? Yes, we can. I'm gonna disable IP domain lookup to speed up tracing. So trace quadruple four. The trace shows us the path that goes to this router one with the serial interface, to router two with the serial interface, and then on to the iOS V router with the loopback quadruple four. Now to prove that, I could do a debug. So debug IP ICMP, do a ping, and notice we see the output 
on the screen of this router. So be careful. When asked to troubleshoot a routing protocol, such as OSPF, in the CCNA exam, the issue could be unrelated to OSPF. The issue could be an interface that's been misconfigured. In this example, the encapsulation was incorrect. You have to have either HDLC on both sides or PPP on both sides of a serial link. A mismatch caused the interface to go up down. In other words, the interface was administratively up, but the line protocol was down, which caused an issue with rod exchange and advertisement, which meant that we couldn't send traffic from the left-hand side of the network to the right-hand side of the network. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.